Hello and welcome to a new Dark Souls lore episode, and today, by request, I'm going to be talking about a small group of characters whose role in Dark Souls 2, whilst a tiny, near inconsequential one, have managed to catch the interest of many in the fanbase. Who else could it be but Alva the Wayfarer, Zully the Witch, and Saint Soretta? Even if they aren't the most important of characters, that doesn't mean they are any less interesting. As a matter of fact, I think I might prefer that. There are hundreds of games, hundreds of stories about saving the world and succeeding. Sometimes the smaller, more personal tales are the more exciting ones, especially when there's no promise of success and survival. So what is the tale of Alva and Sully? A human tale of chivalry and deceit. A classic knight's quest to save a maiden whilst resisting the temptations of those of ill character. Alva the Wayfarer was a knight, and as with most knights in Good Tales, this knight was on a quest. For upon discovering that Saint Soretta was sick, he determined to find a cure, and would set out on an adventure across many lands in the hope of a cure. And just like every tale, he was subject to many a trial, not least of all, the attention of a witch known as Sully. When she realised just why he was searching for a cure to this sickness, she employed all manner of tricks to dissuade and seduce him, to lead him from his path. Was this mere cruelty? Jealousy? Well, witches are known for both, so perhaps it embittered the witch to learn that a man could go to such lengths for another, when none had done so for her. But in the end, in spite of her best efforts, the witch spent her life with Alva, accompanying and even eventually aiding him in his quest. It is ironic then, perhaps, that even with her support, Alva failed in his quest and relinquished his knighthood. Did he fail because of Zully, or in spite of her? The way I see it, Zully's efforts played no part in his failure. I'm of the opinion that Zully eventually grew fond of Alva, even if initially she had set out only to stop him for her own pleasure. But I feel that his dedication must have won her over eventually, and before she knew it, she was helping him out of her own newfound dedication to him. And what was the sickness that Saint Soretta suffered from? Perhaps it isn't important. It is only the motivation that Alva required. I do think it would be safe to assume, however, this sickness was related to the undead curse. For as we know, there is no real cure to that. Granted, if Alva had managed to acquire the empowered crowns of kings, he might well have been able to provide Soretta with an escape of sorts. Their tale is perhaps a little reminiscent of another saint in the Souls universe, Saint Astraea and her faithful knight, Gaul Vinland. As for Zully, the witch has three known headgear items associated with her, the Black Witch Hat, the Black Witch Domino Mask and the Black Witch Veil, so I believe this is related to her many number of tricks and her deceits of Alva. So I'm thinking that she might have come to him in various guises, attempting to dissuade him from his goal, perhaps once coming wearing the veil, another time wearing the mask, and so on. Perhaps trying to seduce him to abandon Soretta, and when that failed, maybe instead taking the role of an oracle or a prophet, showing him false visions to undermine his determination. As for Alva, well, that is a real name, and it has many different meanings, coming in both a feminine and masculine form. The feminine form being largely used in Nordic countries. Some possible meanings include white, bright, friend, the exalted, the exalted one, and so forth. A good name for a knight, no? It sounds very pure and true. As for Soretta and Zully, it's harder to put meanings to those names, as I couldn't really find much in the way of relevance. But if you do know of anything, do please share it in the comments. Ultimately, it's a classic tale, and it's classic Dark Souls. There isn't exactly a happy ending, as Alva gave up his knighthood after failing his quest, perhaps leaving his armour for others to find, or perhaps what we buy from the merchant is merely a replica, as the famous Alva has inspired others to take up arms and go questing. But I don't think the tale is all that grim in the end. Sure, he failed his quest, but it also shows that Zully changed, I believe. Over time, it became less about her potential jealousy of Soretta, and more an admiration of Alva, respecting his determination, dedication, 
We don't rightly know what happened in the end. Did Alva give up his life for adventure and perhaps settle down with Zully? Well, hard to know for sure, but with the Scholar of the First Sin update to Dark Souls 2, we got a few more lines of interesting information, which seems to imply that perhaps, yes, it, it was jealousy that made Sully attempt her deceit of Alva, and in the end perhaps they did actually settle down together or travel together as lovers and partners. The game doesn't state that outright, it's ultimately up to you to decide, and well, Zully being a witch, has she any relation to Beatrice, the witch who braved the abyss? I do not believe so, for in my eyes, witches in Dark Souls are simply naturally talented magic users who do not attend academies to learn from others in an institution. The strength of Zully's magic is hard to know, and although we can obtain some of her items from Navlan, I do not believe that of much importance. It seems to me he is the type to obtain such magical curiosities to satisfy his own means. But if you want to argue that Alva and Zully had a son, and that son was Navlan, who then went on to become the great Hexer and such that we know of, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, because in Dark Souls a lot of things are possible. So there you have it, a small, simple tale, and open-ended enough for you to put your own spin on it. After all, this is Dark Souls, and as usual the details are vague enough to hint, to tease, but also to allow you your own interpretation of just what exactly might have gone down. Dark Souls was designed with the, the idea of telling your own stories around a campfire, and the tale of Alva and Zully is one quite apt and true to that concept, don't you think? It's like the tale of King Arthur. There are so many variations of the King Arthur story, but all of them share one or two similarities. And such is true with Alva and Zully. And what do you think of our knight, saint and witch? There's no bonfires here, but please do share your own tales. The marshmallows are on me.